Hello, my name is Kerry Hipgrave and I am a psychotherapist and a behavioural therapist working with children and adolescents who have Tourette syndrome or a tic disorder. In support of Mental Health Awareness Week, I want to address the issue of stress and anxiety. According to research, a key factor for 16 million people each year experiencing a mental health problem is stress. I want to share with you some of my experiences of how stress and anxiety impacts people who tick. What is the psychological relationship between stress and ticks? Often when I meet children for the first time, the thought of coming to therapy makes them feel anxious, which triggers their tics. Stressful situations makes ticking worse, particularly situations where there is a must demand to keep quiet, to keep still, to conform to what is perceived as normal behavior, or to perform in front of others. Anxiety feeds tics, and both parents and child become trapped in an anxiety cycle that feels impossible to break often evoking feelings of helplessness and hopelessness. Living with Tourette syndrome can be stressful. What impact can this have on someone's mental health? Children can feel highly embarrassed and ashamed of their tics, especially when others call them weird or stupid. Behavioural therapy for tics has such a positive impact on a child's self-esteem. Sometimes, for the first time ever, a child sees themselves in a positive light and has a positive outlook for their future. Having choice to manage their ticking greatly reduces stress and breaks the anxiety cycle. This instills hope and empowers a child to seek change. Living with ticks is challenging and the perceived negative judgments of others can evoke a feeling of shame and not being good enough. Low self-esteem and poor self-concept can lead to a low mood and a feeling of isolation. Behavioural therapy for tics is a dynamic therapeutic approach that empowers a child to take control of their tics instead of the tics controlling them. It is not a cure, but a management tool as they learn how to suppress or change a tic. Each child becomes a tic expert through psychoeducation freeing them from the fear and anxiety of the unknown. They stop perceiving ticking as shameful. Instead, they consider themselves as a unique individual who ticks. Top tips for managing stress. Firstly, I would like to suggest seeking a professional therapist to help through behavioral therapy for ticks. I am on the psychological therapist list, which is available from Tourette's Action UK. Making time for self-care to do activities that are both enjoyable and relaxing is so important and this can include listening to relaxation music, meditation, massage, drawing or painting, a walk in the park. I hope that you found this video interesting. For more information and support on Tourette's Syndrome, please contact Tourette's Action.